Hey everyone, in this article we're going to control a circuit based on its current reading. What we're going to do is we're going to monitor the current consumption of a circuit and if it gets above a limit that we've set we're going to shut that circuit down. To monitor the current usage of that circuit we're using a single channel current monitoring fo particle photon board. Connected to that single channel particle photon current monitoring board, we have a single channel 10 amp relay board connected through the I2C port. This is going to allow us to monitor the current on this board and then control the circuit on and off using the relay on this board. We also have a button connected to the uh, relay board which is going to allow us to manually turn the circuit on and off. We'll also be able to manually control the circuit from Mobicle on our computer or smartphone or tablet. Using Mobicle, we'll be able to set an upper current limit that if exceeded, the relay will turn off to prevent damage. We'll also be able to see the actual current consumption of the circuit in, in real time. We'll be able to see the kilowatt hour usage of the circuit. And of course, we'll be able to manually control it and view the state of the circuit, whether it's on, off, or has been shut down due to circuit overload. So let's talk about the hardware setup here. Here we have our AC supply line. The neutral of the AC supply line is hooked to one leg of this light bulb. The other leg of the AC line, the hot leg, is connected to the common of the relay, and then the normally open of the relay, goes through this current transducer and to the light bulb. So by turning on this relay, we're supplying current to the load and we're able to monitor that current with our uh, current transducer here. That's about it for the hardware. It's really a pretty simple setup. We also, of course, like I said, have a button here where we can manually control everything. So here we can see, uh, I believe I have our current limit set to 200 milliamps or 0.2 amps. So if I turn the circuit on, this light bulb only draws about 150 to 170 milliamps. So you'll see that the light bulb stays on and everything is fine. Now, if we turn that light bulb off and install a light bulb that has a high, higher current consumption above 200 milliamps, we'll see that the circuit will shut down to prevent damage. And we'll also get a notification on our smartphone using the free IFTTT service. So we'll turn the circuit on. And after somewhere around about six seconds, you'll see that the circuit turns back off. And then a few seconds after that, we're going to receive a notification right on our smartphone. And there we have it, circuit overload. So let's go ahead and take a look at Mobicle now and see what we can do there. I've, uh, Mobicle is just mobicle.io. You can open that in any web browser. I have it bookmarked here on my home screen so I can access it quickly and easily. First thing we'll see is a list of devices. Our device is the current alarm, so we'll click to select that. And here it will load up all of the variables that the uh, device has published. Down below variables, we'll see the functions that the device has available. We have switch, limit, set, set AC voltage, and clear kilowatt hours. Switch is going to allow us to turn the circuit on and off. Limit set is going to allow us to set the upper current limit of the circuit. So that is the limit that you're going to set, and if that current consumption is exceeded, the circuit's going to shut down. Set AC voltage is used to set the actual uh, voltage of the AC supply line that's feeding your circuit. We need a relatively accurate uh, voltage in order to determine the kilowatt hours because we have to uh, calculate wattage which is amperage times voltage. Um, it's very rare that your AC uh, voltage is going to be exactly 110 or 120. Uh, I think mine comes out to like 114. So we use that to set a variable on the device and that allows the device to accurately monitor kilowatt hour usage. Uh, and the device keeps track of kilowatt hour usage in real time and displays it, displays it to us as a variable here in Mobicle. That kilowatt hour reading is stored in EEPROM every time it's monitored. So if your uh, controller reboots, powers down and boots back up, it's going to pick up where it left off on the kilowatt hour readings. 
Um, here we can see the variable trip limit. That is the uh, current limit. Uh, so if we exceed that, the circuit shuts down. You'll see mine set to 0.2 or about 200 milliamps. Um, some other information up here, we have firmware, max current, sensor type, and channels. That's just information about the current monitoring board. Um, mine happens to be a one channel with a maximum current of 20. Uh, the current current reading is zero amps. Uh, so it's displaying that to us right there as well. We can also see circuit state. And right now that is showing alarm shutdown, which means that the board has shut down the circuit due to excessive uh, current consumption. So if we go ahead and install a smaller light bulb that consumes less current, we can now use Mobicle to turn that circuit back on. So you can add a button up here. Um, I have uh, added a button for circuit on and circuit off. Um, basically all that we're doing is we're calling this switch function and we're passing it variables. Uh, this one passes a variable on, this one passes off. So if I hit the on button here, I'll see the light bulb uh, turns back on. Um, and after a few seconds we'll see current state switch from alarm shutdown to on, uh, letting us know that the circuit is currently on and running. So let's uh, Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at a scenario here. Let's say that you have a piece of machinery and um, it has gone into a failure state uh, and uh, has started drawing excessive current. A good indication that a piece of machinery has failed um, is a high current consumption reading. A lot of times if a motor or a solenoid or something like that goes out, it's going to draw excessive current. So to prevent damage to the machine uh, or product, we can shut that down using this. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, let's turn the machine on and we'll see that it goes back off. Uh, your uh, personnel will get a notification that the uh, circuit has overloaded. We see right there the, uh, the IFTTT notification on our smartphone. So that's going to let your personnel know that they need to get out there on location and make repairs to that device. So let's say that they go out and they make their repair, which in this case consists of switching this light bulb out. So they go out there, they replace the light bulb, they've made the repairs, and they go ahead and turn the circuit back on, and everything's up and running, and everything's good to go again. And of course, we can check in Mobicool to see the current state will switch from alarm shutdown to on but it's letting us know that the uh, circuit is up and running and everything is uh, in the green. So that's pretty much it for this application. We're able to manually control the circuit locally uh, with a switch. The circuit is able to shut itself down if current uh, gets excessive and we're able to set that limit very simply. We're able to remotely turn the circuit on and off and view the current status of the circuit and even the kilowatt hour usage of the circuit to determine how much it's costing us. And we even get a notification on our smartphone to let us know that something has happened. So this is a really good all around uh, setup for an application like this where you need to monitor machinery or anything like that. So if you guys have any questions be sure and let us know but hopefully this was helpful and uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.